Good evening. And uh, I'm out here by a local supermarket, and the water reservoir behind me here has got plenty of eastern gray tree frogs just a chirping away. It's a pretty humid night here in Michigan. Um, it's got to be close to 100% humidity. We just had a rain, 73 Fahrenheit, and so they are very active. I've also heard some American bullfrogs occasional croak. I know that this is going to be the eastern gray tree frog based upon the call. We only have two tree frogs in Michigan, the Cope's gray tree frog and the eastern gray tree frog. And visually, they are identical. The only way to tell the difference between them is the calls, or genetic testing. If this was Cope's gray tree frog, we'd have a much higher uh, shrill buzzer kind of sound. Like a Instead, we've got this like very fast pace, but still a chirping, almost like a bird, like chirp, 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 chirp. All right, let's see how close we can get. Let's see what kind of footage we can get. You can just hear them. There's just so many chirping. It always sounds maybe like there's tons out here, but they're going to be so tough to find. All right, I'm going to be quiet now. This is just so awesome. He doesn't even care that I'm right here. He doesn't even care. I might care a little bit, but not enough to stop chirping. Whew. I am getting bit up by mosquitoes. Tell you what. Cute little guy. Oh my gosh. Man. That was awesome. I am so glad I came out tonight, Herbie. I am so glad. It's so awesome to be able to get so close. And to get to know, because of the chirping, yep, we're dealing with the eastern gray tree frog, not copes. Um, if you want to compare their songs a little bit, I already have an episode on that. It gives you a little bit more details about both species. But, uh, man, it was great being out here tonight. Whew, but it is humid. All right. I'm Rich Lund. Thanks for herping with me. And as always, let's try to leave nature as good or better than we found it. See you next time.